then, okay, so um, all the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box, okay? Um, keep in mind, if your readings are not completed the same day, they're going to be done the next morning around this time <laughs> or earlier, depending on if it's a weekend or um, a weekday. Sometimes I get extremely exhausted. I do have other jobs that I do. Um, so sometimes I just get too tired and I just need, you know, time to rest and I'm not going to waste your money and read for you when I'm tired because no, that is not ever good. And I'm not good. I cannot read properly when I'm tired. I just can't. I don't see, um, I don't see properly. It's all muddied and no, it's like, it's like trying to watch a staticky TV. <laughs> okay. Like, you know, remember the antennas back in the day and you had to like keep fixing them? That's the only thing I can compare it to. Um, like having to fix them. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, nope. I did, I did, when I first started my shop, I did try to read when I was tired, and I noticed that people were like, mm, it makes sense, but then again, it doesn't, so I stopped doing that, and I noticed it was because I was tired, so this is why I always encourage feedback as well, um, whether it's good or bad, right, just as long as it's respectful, <laughs> and some people are not, but to each their own. Okay, anyways, so today is going to be ancestor messages, okay? So let's see what your ancestors want to tell you today. I'm going to do, they want to use the enchanted maps. We are going to do the Halloween deck. So we're going to do the enchanted maps first. ancestors want to tell them at this time 47 and 10 sacred pool and rock bottom sacred pool Let's see Let's see what rock bottom wants to say what is this it says surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom surrender and acceptance you've reached a point where you can no longer go any further in the same manner You've hit some type of proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep loss. Now this is a new direction and a new strategy, calling for surrender. Accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what to do next. Rock bottom is a sign that a miracle is about to occur. Okay, this is from your ancestors, okay? <laughs> so, all right now. This theme has been going on for quite some time. Okay, they, they even, so spirit, the most high God, archangels, all of that, any deities that you may work with, whoever I'm connecting to, okay, um, which I feel are the same as angels, okay, um, and they have been telling you the same thing, surrender, okay, um, It says, be at peace for you are beautiful and loved and act with confidence and success is yours. Act with confidence. Set your intentions. I tell you guys this all the time about setting your intentions, you know, and it's weird because I'll tell you this. It's weird because I tell people all the time to set intentions, light candles, you know, do your work, um, have an altar, right? Have a safe space. Catholics practice has Catholics use altars even, okay? Um, we won't even get into the Catholicism. <laughs> you guys know I was raised Roman Catholic. So my practices today, this is why I know that this is all connected. Because my practices today, you guys know that I work, I work with deities and I work with Jesus and I work with the Most High God. But my altar is not that different from... The altar that I had when I was practicing Catholicism. <laughs> okay. We did the same practices. So I guess you would kind of say that my practices now are very much aligned with like pagan, I guess you would say. 
but I don't just worship pagan gods. So, you know, I, I talk to Jesus, I talk to um, any deities that come towards me, okay, that offer their help. Um, and you'll know if they're coming because they will show up in the form of an animal or a symbol or anything, okay? A lot of times they come towards you when you are healing different things. So when I notice that um, I need to respect my boundaries, I notice that a lot of Lilith, I will start seeing a lot of Lilith things, right? And she's like, girl, remember them boundaries, <laughs> okay? So, and um, when I want to create money, right? Hades is always like knocking on my doorstep. I remember because Hades is the god of wealth, right? Material wealth on this planet. So I remember talking to, asking for his help and guidance, and I kid you not, that night, um, a bat flew into my door, my front door, a bat. I have a picture of it on my phone. Um, and he was like screaming at my door. And you know, bats are a sign of, of Hades. So I was like, wow, thank you um, for showing up and you know, helping me. So that's what I mean by surrendering, right? But also setting your intentions, okay? Like light a candle, set your intentions. Um, when I have told a lot of you to do this, a lot of you kind of like backed away. You're like, uh, you said okay, but I, I knew because I can feel energy and I know what you guys are doing or not doing. Um, I knew that you didn't listen. <laughs> okay, so I'm being called to tell you this again for a reason. This is your ancestors coming in saying, girl, use your magic. Okay? Use your magic. Ask for help. Okay? I don't know if some of you are scared to do this or if some of you think that, you know, it's sinful to do this. I'm going to tell you there's only one energy that I have connected with that tried to attack me that I have noticed is not a good energy because they they ask for something in return that you don't want to give them starts with an L word I think you know where I'm going with this that is the only energy that I've ever encountered that uh uh no no we won't work with that energy okay and it's only by that name okay there's something about that name. No other name. Have I tried to tap in with other names? No. No. Okay? Because something always goes wrong. Even if I just speak that name, they'll show up like, hey, bitch. Hell no. Okay? So that's why I don't do that. Um, this, pers this person, <laughs> this energy um, really tries to, like, mess with you. Um, it tries to, it doesn't want to help you. Okay. It wants something from you. It's like, it's like a, like a narc energy, right? It's like, Oh, you want me to do something for you? Okay, bitch. What are you going to do for me? Like, that's the type of ugliness it is. Okay. I don't feel that energy with any other deity that I've ever worked with. Um, so I want you to keep that in mind. There's a lot of people that are working with that energy saying, Oh, all kinds of madness out there floating around on the internet I can feel energy if I'm attacked by a by an energy <laughs> and I'm a healer that means to me that you are an opposing force that is against me I don't care what people say I don't care how old you are I don't care how much you've been doing magic I don't care about none of that I know what I feel okay so, if that energy is so good, right, because there's a lot of people out here that, that do practices and they say, oh, it's neither good nor bad. It's the, the person that is, that is operating or using the energy. That's bullshit. I'm going to tell you that right now. That is absolute bullshit because I have proof, <laughs> okay? I have proof. Um, I'm not going to put people's business out there. It's not my business to tell, but I have proof. Okay, and when I tell you that it's not something you want to give, it will never be. Okay, do not do deals with the devil, and that is literally what I'm saying. Okay, that is very much accurate what I'm saying. So you can choose to listen or not, but what I'm telling you is that 
You want to create an altar and work with high vibrational energies, which I consider any deity and those deities to be angels, in my opinion, um, angelic energies. It's all energy, okay? But it's high vibrational energy, okay? So d do it, okay? Do it. Do not be scared. I feel like that's what they're wanting you to do at this time. You know, that's what tapping in, you know, creating the altar, um, asking for help and guidance from your ancestors that are for you. Sometimes we have ancestors that are not for us, but you would know that. Um, yeah, see, some of your ancestors are just wanting to create bullshit in your life and stress, but not everybody has that problem. Just keep your heart open because there are ones that love you and want the best for you. Okay, sun energy here for you. So, okay, that was a long, a long, um, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like a mom telling you guys <laughs> what to do and not to do. Okay, 47, the world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. That's exactly what <laughs> they just said. Okay, move with love. Move with love and good intentions. Not with snake energy, not with manipulation, not with um, malice, ill intent. Move with love, okay? Stand up for yourself. Have boundaries, okay? And if somebody doesn't like your boundaries, that's not your fucking problem, okay? That's theirs, okay? They need to get their shit together. When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? This card asks that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. Okay? Ref reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. A detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? <clears throat> do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to act in good conscience and all this means is to me this is very similar when people say that god is within you a lot of pastors say that a lot of christians you know we believe that i do consider myself christian even though i work with other deities do i consider myself religious no but i do consider myself a christian okay um and i feel like they say the same thing to be honest i feel like we all say the same thing in different words in different practices um but it's all connected right <clears throat> it's all connected okay what in the western world we celebrate as far as holidays and everything is very much in alignment with pagan tradition okay whether they want to realize that or not um you know they being most of the western world um but a lot of people are not educated and they don't study religions i studied religions in college <laughs> um I was like, wow, this is kind of strange. And I remember taking notes and thinking to myself, what in the world? Um, that's, I didn't start my spiritual journey then, but I started questioning what I believed, okay? Um, never questioned Jesus, because I always felt in my soul that he was here to bring enlightenment. Um, I still feel that way. People, people may not see it that way, but I do, okay? He was the great, I mean... If you think of alchemy and think of being a magician, he was the ultimate alchemist, turning water into wine. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, people drinking wine and then and then calling it his blood and eating of his flesh. What is that? That's a worship, right? Um, so it's like I was saying, it's very much in alignment with other practices. That's why I always tell you guys to listen to your intuition because we are all on different paths, but the same journey, but different paths, right? We may dress different. We may talk different. We may walk on different roads. We may have different assignments, but I truly feel like we're all walking toward the same thing. We're all going toward the same destination. We're just going down different roads in different clothes <laughs> and using different techniques and tools, right, to get there. That's what I firmly believe. That's why I always tell you to use your own intuition because I 
I speak with a lot of people that are from all over the world. I speak with people who live in India, who are from India. I speak with Australians. I speak with people who are from England. Um, so it's like, you guys are going to have different practices, right? If you're in Greece, you're going to have different practices. Um, you're going to do different things. So according to your, you're going to have different practices. And that is because of according to where you live, your culture, and according to your bloodline, according to your own ancestors, you're going to have different ways of practice. It doesn't mean it's good or bad. There's not a good or a wrong here. Okay. Unless you're working with that energy that I will not speak of. <laughs> okay. There is no right or wrong. Okay. This is why I always tell you guys to pay attention to, you know, meditate, try to open up your third eye, um, connect with your intuition so that you can see the signs. You can, you can see if who's trying to talk to you, you can see your ancestors and all of that. Okay. So they're coming through heavily today. Okay. Wanting you to know this. Okay. Wanting you to know this. Get, I'm hearing get back to your roots. That's for some of you. Some of you need to get back to your roots, okay? Whatever that may be, wherever that may be, okay? So, um, I don't know. I'm channeling Haiti. Some of you could be Haitian, okay? Um, whatever those roots are, get back to it, okay? I don't know much about that culture, I did there I did hang around a Haitian group for many years in my 20s we partied a lot um, and they had been in the States for a while but they were always cooking and partying I mean we were always partying and they were always trying to feed me <laughs> um, but I didn't really connect with them on a religious level because we were just like party friends I guess you would call it um, so I'm not really familiar with that religion. And unfortunately, in my world religions class in college, they didn't tap into that religion. Um, I don't even know what they believe in, to be honest. So, um, and they spoke Patois, I believe. So a lot of times when they would talk about things that they didn't want me to know, they, <laughs> they would speak in their other language, which I was completely respectful of that. I understood because, you know, my family is Italian, so... I completely understood. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything much about their culture in regards to their religious beliefs. But that is definitely, yeah, see. So there's definitely someone here who is has Haitian descent or Haitian ancestry. You need to tap into this. Also, if you're some from Savannah, Georgia, um, their spirit is reminding me of Savannah, Georgia. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but in Savannah, Georgia, there was a war between Haitians um, and I can't, somebody else. There was a Haitian general that came in many years ago. Um, so I, maybe they practice voodoo because I know voodoo and hoodoo is something very common in Savannah and has a lot of historical roots. That's what spirit is reminding me of. I've been to Savannah a couple of times. I absolutely love it. Um, I bought a necklace from a high priest there um, who, who was very kind, had a very good energy. I um, actually bought a bracelet for my son from him. Um, most of the people that are there, it's crazy because most of them are psychic. Most of them are healers. Um, I remember going into a shop and a woman saying, hey, and I was like, yes. And she's like, you're exactly where you need to be. So I know I have a past life in Savannah, um, but it was that was my first time there. And I was just amazed at how many people I connected with on a spiritual level there. OK, um, and I went on a ghost tour. <laughs> And I caught a ghost in the window, of course. And I took a picture and the tour guide uses it. Um, I don't know. Let me stop going on a tangent. Um, <laughs> but that is a message for somebody. 33 could be significant. Okay. 33 is also the number of Christ consciousness. So you could be, um, you know, raising your vibration very heavily. This is de definitely for somebody, though. 
I hope you guys listen to this message. Um, and if you've always wondered if you have Haitian roots or something like that in Savannah, Georgia is familiar to you, you may need to look into your ancestry, okay? Because something about that is very significant. Yep, a butterfly is significant as well. Yeah, you're changing. You're, you're transforming, metamorphosis. You're transforming here. You could be sad because you had to make a choice here. There was a choice that you had to make, and I don't think you wanted to make that choice. But you did. I feel like you already did. What does the ancestors want to say about the choice that was made? encouraged to do this you were encouraged to do this wizard of awareness is significant here so let me look and see what these cards are 54 21 3 could be significant for some of you not all of you 54 is the last card in the book. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. Yeah, so that's basically what I thought. You were encouraged to do this. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential. Okay, great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener. Okay, so some of you could be um, like a healer that works with herbs. Okay, um, I know a lot of you hate when I use the word or a lot of you when I say witch, when I call a divine feminine a witch, a lot of you feel like it has a negative connotation. It does not. A witch has a negative connotation based off the history of the word. But the actual meaning of the word is not what it has been perceived as today. A witch is someone who is a healer. She is a manifester. She is a light worker. She is a divine feminine. She is that. Okay, you are an alchemist magician. You create your reality. That's a healer. That's a witch. That is what a witch does. <laughs> okay, so you could be a garden witch or a kitchen witch. Okay, I'm going to start using that word now. So don't freak out on me. R remember, remember what we were talking about limiting beliefs. Okay. All right. Be clear about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. <laughs> That's literally what the book is saying. Concentrate on your best life regardless of your temporary outer conditions, which is po imposed upon you by the world. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful. Right. Okay. Some of you, <coughs> I'm channeling, some of you are, are Reiki healers. Some of you have the ability to heal people with your hands. I don't care what mainstream media says about Reiki. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. That's not what I believe. <coughs> because I have a great great grandmother who was a healer. She uses her used her hands to heal. That's what I truly believe Reiki is. It's taking your energy and putting it into someone else to heal them. Okay? This is why I don't go to massage places. Mm. yes heed my warning if you walk into a massage place you need to be able to meet this person i don't care if they do reiki or not i don't care it's the and someone could transfer their energy through their hands okay and if they don't have good energy they're putting all that shit onto you this is why i don't go to massage parlors okay i only let people i trust give me a massage um, or people that I know, like, even if they have negative energy, that I can transmute that energy very, fairly quickly, okay? This is why a lot of times you see, like, be careful of who you let touch you. Yes, but the mainstream media will tell you that Reiki is not 
is not bad. That Reiki is not, I mean, it's not bad, but listen to what I'm saying. That Reiki is using, is not using your own energy. It's using energy from within the person or whatever they say to heal someone. That's incorrect. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I don't give a shit. Don't message me. Don't email me about anything. I've meditated on this. I've t t taken notes and put this shit in my journal. I know what I believe. You may not have the same beliefs as me. That's okay. But you're not going to change my opinion. I'm very bullheaded. I'm very hardheaded, especially when I've seen it with my own intuition. Um, uh, uh Okay. So, but that's a message for some of you. I don't know. Um, maybe somebody needs to stop going to massage parlors. I don't know. Maybe somebody can, is a healer with their hands and they need to utilize this in a career somehow. Okay. I'm just telling you what I'm channeling. A wizard of awareness. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. <clears throat> Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort. So this is being an objective observer. Okay. This is about being able to calm your feelings down to the point where you can be an outsider looking in, okay? So, again, this takes the ability to have empathy because you have to pull yourself out and look within, okay? So, you can always do this by applying your situation to a fic fictional person, fictional character right and saying so so if one of my friends came to me and told me and told me their story what would I tell them right whatever you're encountering whatever issue you're encountering so what is the advice that I would tell my friend if they told me the situation that I'm going through what would I tell my friend <clears throat> or a stranger okay sometimes you have well sometimes most of the time you have emotional ties to your friend okay so it's hard for you to have an objective uh, observation about your friend because you're emotionally invested and you're like you don't mess with my friend <laughs> so a stranger okay what would you tell a stranger if they were in your shoes so you gotta pull yourself out look at the situation and see that's what i that's what i do in order to calm my nerves calm my emotion okay what would i what advice would i give someone if they were in this situation that was a stranger that's what i do that's what this card is telling you to do okay wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal because it's not and a lot of times i notice that people that take everything personally has a tendency to be a little you know toxic okay if you take everything as an attack against you you're making the world about you not everything is about you okay and i tell people that a lot too not everything is about you some things happen and it has nothing to do with you okay this is why i encourage people to have open communication talk about things um you know try to see things from the other's perspective and again if if someone is having something happen in their life okay that is causing disruptions for them that prevents them from being a decent human being to you and respecting your boundaries that person cannot be in your life because they're unable they're well unable they're incapable of giving you reciprocity at this time whether it's a friend a romantic connection a family member whatever that philosophy needs to be applied with everyone if there's no reciprocity in a relationship no matter who it is with that is not a relationship that you need to continue because that is a very one-sided relationship okay 
So if someone is not taking the time to read your messages and they're just like fluffing you off and ignoring you and then coming back in when they need something from you, whether it's emotional support, whether it's sexual, whether it's finances, excuse me, but they're not even taking the time to really engage in a connection with you, that's disrespectful. That means that they don't really care about you, in my opinion. Because when you think about someone that you want to have as a friend, that you genuinely care about, I don't care if I send my best friend 40 paragraphs. She responds with, okay, let me catch up. I was busy. Let me catch up and I'll respond. She will read from beginning to end what I said because she respects me. Because she cares about me. She loves me. And she's interested in what I was saying. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Someone who doesn't have any of those feelings towards you, they're just going to be like, oh, look what this bitch sent. Or look what this asshole sent. Right? Or, oh, God, here we go with this. That's not someone you want in your life. They don't value you. Okay? And this may be a hard pill to swallow for some of you who I'm talking to, but it's the truth. And you deserve better than that. You deserve better than someone feeling as if you're a burden. And if this person makes you feel like you're a burden, it's because you can energetically sense that's how this person feels about you. And maybe they're holding on because of sex or because of money or because of they want control over you. That's what we talked about yesterday. You never know someone's motives. And it's not your business or it's and it's not your... Um, it shouldn't be your goal to find out, well, what did this person want from me? That's going down the rabbit hole. That is a distraction from your path. It doesn't matter what they wanted. What matters is how they're showing up in your life, right? How are they showing up? If there's no reciprocity, if this person is not showing compassion and empathy, they got to go. They got to get the fuck out of here, okay? You don't need to know the why. You don't need to know the how, okay? None of that matters. It doesn't. It's a waste of your energy and time. And you're giving your power away to that person by doing that, by going down a rabbit hole, by trying to figure this person out. You're wasting your time. It doesn't matter. Okay? Let it go is what, is what your ancestors are saying at this time. They want to say something about that energy, so let's take a look. I feel like a lot of you deal with the same type of energy, so they want um, to talk to you about that. So what do you want to say about people that operate in that energy? What do you want to say about people that operate in that energy of, you know, what I was saying? No reciprocity. The ones that just want things one-sided and control and blah, blah. So 20. A unicorn. Bone collector could be significant for some of you as well. Maybe you're watching that movie. I don't know. Maybe you need to watch that movie the bone collector that's about a serial killer i don't know that's weird but maybe some of you are just watching that movie i don't know flying you have the power to see things from a higher perspective hmm? okay if you were a bird flying in, high in the air what would you see when you soar above life's challenges and opportunities a new perspective becomes available today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off and the things you hope for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. So you have the ability to manifest whatever you want. <laughs> and they're saying a dragon's lair, okay? <laughs> You are always protected and divinely directed. So you've always been protected from this person. It says you have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. 
You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully. That person is dangerous. I don't know why I was channeling that movie. Oh no. I don't want to scare you guys. You're always protected. <laughs> They're saying you're always protected. So this person is not going to be able to touch a hair on your head is what I just heard. Okay, so don't worry about that. I hope they don't try. But, because that ain't going to be nice, good for them, or pretty for them. But, um, it says, the path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. Peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. <clears throat> a life fully lived isn't lived only in safety. Okay, so a life fully lived isn't only lived in safety. You had to go through these experiences in order to learn lessons, basically, is what your ancestors are telling you, okay? You had to encounter these people. You had to go into the darkness to figure things out, to learn lessons, okay? You had to. You had to go into shark-infested waters, okay? <laughs> I just heard that baby shark song, baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Maybe you're a little baby shark and you were swimming with the real sharks, right? Maybe, <laughs> Maybe you were a little shark you know a little baby fish and you were swimming with the in danger and you had no clue right but you learned lessons along the way or maybe you were swimming with them and you were like oh i'm used to you guys and you're not afraid and they let you swim with them because they're like what the hell why isn't she afraid <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> that's that's funny um, it says a new experience is calling to you. One that will test your courage. Okay. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. So there is a risk. This doesn't mean go back towards someone that treated you like shit. This means that you could be, that you could have had an opportunity or this person may present an opportunity or you have someone who doesn't have good intentions that will present an opportunity that you are meant to take, okay? I feel like I channeled this already. This is going to educate you in some way, okay? This is for your own education, okay? You're protected, though, so no need to worry. No need to be scared. Okay. No need to worry. This is going to teach you something. This is So this is like you're, you've graduated, so now welcome to the big leagues. I just heard welcome to the big leagues. Uh oh Okay. So you were frying small fish before, right? You were learning smaller lessons. You were healing um, things through people. Um, maybe everyday people, okay? I don't know why I heard everyday common folk. I don't even know what the hell that is. That's somebody's ancestors. Um, okay. Um, but now you're headed into something bigger. I feel like you're heading, you're, you may be dealing with people who, okay, don't be scared now when I'm about to tell you this. <laughs> Okay, do not be scared because remember, you're protected. You may be headed into dealing with people who are like elites or government. I don't know. Don't delete my channel. <laughs> um, something about that. But this is part of your life purpose. This is part of your life purpose. You are called where you're needed. Remember, I told you that yesterday. You're called where you're needed, okay? You work for the divine, okay? Where, where are they, what are they creating? What, what are they doing? Where are they headed? What are they doing? This is going to bring an amazing opportunity, but you could be a Virgo or you have this placement in your chart um, this is about methods for healing. 
anal analyzing something resulting from perfectionism. So this is about how, you know, Virgo is very analytical. Virgo is very much a perfectionism in regards to um, what they create. So this is about methods for healing resulting from your ideas. So you may create, um, this is what you're going to be doing. This is what you're going to be creating. Some of you, like I said, are going to be Reiki are Reiki people. <sighs> maybe you're going to have an investor or something that wants to work with you or maybe open up a business for you. Maybe someone wants to go into business with you. This is what I'm hearing. Someone definitely wants to create something with you. Yeah. So remember, now is not the time to backtrack. 4040. So don't get scared because if you get scared and you run back, you're like, oh, hell no. What is that above me? I can't see. And you run back. You're going back into the past. Don't go back into your past, into your south node, okay? Your south node could be in Scorpio. For some of you, you could be a Virgo with a south node in Scorpio. This is about, um, or you could be a Scorpio that I'm talking to. Your, Vir your south node could be in Virgo. Um, this is about pure, this is about resurrecting secrets. Let me, let me meditate for a second. I feel like you're going to I feel like you're going to utilize some kind of secrets that you have learned from your past life. You're going to remember something. Wow. What I'm channeling is that you were a healer in a past life and you created something. That was very healing to a lot of people. But you've forgotten. What it was in this lifetime. You forgot what it was in this lifetime. But you're going to remember what it was. And you're going to use it to heal. Okay? Okay. This may be something that you do not tell anyone. You may keep this a secret in this lifetime. You may have to keep it a secret in this lifetime. So you may create a method for healing in a way in which is remarkable, but the secret of how you're doing it will not be known. Okay? That is for some of you, not all of you. Yep. This has, this is about who you are. It has something to do with who you are. It's, yeah, I can't, I can't. It's about who, it's because of who you are. It's your destiny. Yeah, this is, wow. Mars is here helping you, okay, and, and driving you to take action for this. So Mars is pushing you, like, go on, girl, <laughs> okay, along with your ancestors. They're like, go on, girl. This is your destiny. Get your destiny. So this can't be taken from you, right? How many times have we talked about this? Like, this can't be taken from you because... Whoever you are, this is your destiny to fulfill this, okay? To do this. So, it can't be taken. Like, your destiny is your destiny, okay? There have been people around you that have been trying to trick you, okay? They've been, they've been trying to deceive you. They've been trying to get you to take a time out. They've been trying to um, fuck with your energy to get you to, I don't know not see who you are they don't want you to see who you are yeah this is the skull of light illumination 
they don't want you to know who you are for some reason. Because I feel like if you know who you are, then you're going to be like, you're going to know exactly what to do, I'm hearing. If you know who you are, you're going to know exactly what to do. It says, we can stay in the dark, exist only in the midnight hours, but shining the torch, the victory is ours. Right. They want to keep your, your light hidden because something about remembering who you are and using your light and remembering what you knew from your past life is going to have victory. But they can't stop this because this is your destiny. <laughs> they can't. So I'm going to read this card because this may help someone. So as the famous psychotherapist Jung suggested, knowing our own darkness helps us cope with the darkness of others. Taking the time to know thyself and to seek understanding of our more destructive or shadow nature can lead to huge happiness and less anxiety. The idea of being shown the way in the most difficult of times and always knowing that we are never alone in the darkness are the keys to this magical element. Light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. It is too scary, too big, and we now, excuse me, and we know not how to defeat it. Yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness, the victory is ours. Should the skull of light enter your life, know that it is time to open yourself fully to the clarity of illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding for pretending and for swallowing our discomfort by accept accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. Yeah, it's time to shine bright like a diamond. Remember I kept channeling that song, shine bright like a diamond? Yeah, that's what, it's time to rise now, okay? It's time to rise and shine. You may be helping people through their darkness because you have been in the dark. You have done these things that these people have done. You have seen the things that they've done. You have done all of it. All of that was necessary for your divine purpose. Remember when I told you that not all light workers are butterflies and rainbows and sunshines, right? Because on mainstream media, a lot of people... I'm just going to tell you this right now. If you see a lot of people doing the same thing, those people are frauds. Those people, most of the time, those people are frauds because they're, they're stuck to a limiting belief. They're sheeple. They're asleep. They're sleepwalkers. And I say this all the time. They're sleepwalkers. They're not really awake. They're just doing things that they read, but they have no intuitive knowledge of their own. They're following what everything else has told them to do or everyone else has told them to do because they have no knowledge within. This is what you guys need to understand. And this is why I try to help you guys to connect with your own light your own intuition, okay? To pull yourself out of your ego and to be open-minded enough to see your intuition because your intuition is gonna lead you to your destiny. Who knows what the hell your destiny is, <laughs> okay? Who knows, okay? You could do big things, great things, okay? But it doesn't always mean that you're gonna be happy and positive and doing the right thing all the time or have done the right thing all the time okay now are there people out there that are light workers that are sunshine and rainbows yes to me those are crystal children those are there's are those are the rainbow children okay and and oftentimes you will see these people even as adults like for my grandmother my grandmother for example i feel like she was a rainbow child or a crystal child one or the other okay she was very sensitive she always talked about how the angels communicated with you through signs. She always told me, look at the signs, the angels will talk to you. She was very much ahead of her time and I don't even think she realized it. Um, and I didn't realize it until I started on my journey. Um, but she always told me that I was an angel, right? And she always said, you're stronger than most. 
and don't ever let anyone um, tell you that you're wrong for that, right? Because you're meant to be strong because you're an angel. She used to always tell me this, okay? And I was like, yeah, because I was strong, right? I, I was very strong-minded. I was very strong-willed. Um, I could deal with grief, okay? Um, granted, I did get upset, you know, I got upset and I cried, but I let it go and I was able to move on from it. Um, my grandmother viewed that as a strength and that's why she always admired that about me, you know, because she wasn't able to do that. I remember she would be in her bed for days with depression. So she had a very tough life in the past and she dealt she didn't deal with it the way that I could right she couldn't alchemize it the way that I could um and she was a very gentle soul and any kind of crime or violence <clears throat> or anything like that was very disturbing for her right she was like oh I don't want to see that turn that off like it was very like almost like it was harmful to her soul right I feel like light workers like me and like a lot of you who are very strong who who deal with darkness who who have the ability to alchemize the darkness and and stand up and keep moving we are here to protect them okay we are here to protect those that cannot face that type of darkness because we can okay I hope you're following me that's why we're strong and I think that's what my grandmother was trying to tell me um and I wasn't understanding until now until I started my journey and I realized oh shit <laughs> you know like we're the front lines here <laughs> if you will you know what I mean if you think about it as like a military like we're the front lines okay we're the ones that are going out there strapped up ready to go okay and the people like her are the ones in the back okay so that is a message for somebody if you're wondering why why you're not like them or why how am I a light worker I get and I'm telling you this because I have gotten multiple questions well why am I like this I, I don't fit the mainstream light worker agenda because you're not like them we are all different we have different jobs we have different abilities we have different gifts now are there traitors among us yes <laughs> you got traitors in every historical era there were traitors okay but you can't focus on the traitors you just got to keep going and keep moving and doing your due diligence okay I don't know your ancestors are coming through very strong and wanting this to know yeah they see everything they know who is doing what they're supposed to do and who is not doing what they're supposed to do okay they know who is being authentic who is shining their light and, and being being a healer synergy and cauldron they see you they see everything they know you know if you're a healer or if you're a destroyer <laughs> are you using your light to heal or destroy i mean because that is a thing Yeah, happiness is in your heart and home. Are you happy? Are you at peace? Are you using your heart to create peace within your community? Okay. Spider, are you using your peace to, to, here we go, create synergy within your community? Or are you destroying your community? Okay. Okay, I'm, last message here. So for people who are dealing with people who deceive you or try to steal from you or trick you, forgive them, okay? 
forgive the mischief mischievous ones okay because you're going to create through the ashes whatever bird bridge they burned you will create on top of it okay whatever they have destroyed you will create anew okay just like they say what every stone that has been thrown at you you will create an empire with it right they want me to use this deck and this is the last one that I'm doing Nine eleven or nine one one is significant for some of you, and I did see a fire, so I don't know. Somebody could have ancestors that um, were there when that happened. Plant yourself here. Grounded action. You need to ground yourself. Some of you, rapture, sensuality, ecstasy, pleasure, romance, devotion. Okay. The rose thread. Inner calling. Live courageously. Live courageously. It's time to be brave. Release the petals, transformation, death, rebirth. All things change. We've been channeling that same message. It's time to be brave, be brave, be courageous. Death and rebirth is here. Transformation is here. Time to be brave. Okay. Okay. 